quarter of the world's population is now living under some form of lockdown due to coronavirus. Life is going to look very different indeed. It's important not to forget about our mental health. You must stay at home. Hello everyone, my name is Liam. I'm 26 years old. Unfortunately and regrettably, I've spent six of them years locked up in prisons across the country, 23 hours a day, 12 foot by eight foot cells for over 2,000 days. My name is Shaq. I was in prison for nine months on 24th of April, 2017. During this time, I learned several ways to keep myself busy behind my door, which could help you keep busy behind yours. Tip number one is exercise. Physical exercise, brilliant, do it. If you can do it, remember you're lucky to be able to do that around the home, around the garden. But also, I'd encourage you to exercise the mind. Get yourself grounded again. Get in contact with the real you again. Start painting a picture of your future. Use this period of isolation to create a visualization of where you want to be in your futures. One was reading mostly self-help books, which I find are very useful and very helpful because it's all about growth, mental growth, and ways in keeping a positive mental attitude. Step number two is self-development. You can achieve this today in many ways. Education, research, reading, writing, being creative, writing music, poetry. You could even write your loved ones a bedtime story. Today we've got an infinite amount of knowledge at our fingertips. So don't be afraid to use it and become more powerful and more knowledgeable than you could ever have dreamt of. Second of all of those things I would say was writing. Now creative writing I would say because I'm a creative person, an expressive person. So I would say writing poems, songs, lyrics, uh, short stories those kind of things, uh, scripts if you even want to take it there, uh, any type of art that you want to express yourself in, maybe you're an artist you like to paint, any type of creative expression that you can do, that's something that can pass the time quite well. Tip number three is communication. We should all be communicating with one another today more than many, making sure they're okay and they're all right, but also try and rekindle old relationships, try and become more proactive with your responses from now on. By doing this, you will never miss an opportunity. You will never leave a door unopened. Who knows where the door would have took you? Third of those things would be keeping up with my to-do list now. That would be making sure in the morning that I've made sure that my bed is made, um, making sure that my floor is dusted so I'm not breathing in any, in any dust over the course of the day, overnight. These are just three of the tips which helped me during my lockdown and led to my human development. It's hard to imagine over 2,000 days I spent locked up in 12 foot by 8 foot cells, living with people I didn't know, on lockdowns. But now, my life's completely transformed thanks to them skills and techniques. With the help of Keith for Life, I now have a full-time job with Yo Valley Family Farms, which I love. I now get to repay back into the community going into schools and prisons and communities with Keith for Life, speaking to to young people, getting their lives back on track. I now serve Key for Life where I can, uh, attending schools and prisons around the country, offering advice from experience, turning my negatives into positives. Use this time during lockdown to, to prepare for the start over. Don't patiently wait for it to end. Patiently prepare. Learn patience, which two skills have served me well upon release. And I wish you all the best of it. God bless you all. These are just two of the men that have been through the Key for Life seven step programme. What I urge all of you to do now is arm yourself with what you've heard from Liam and Shaq to help transform your lives. We will be producing further footage and self-help films over the coming weeks and months. So please do tune in again. Thank you.